Some metro school districts have decided uh, their spring semester learning plans. The Blue Valley School District says that its middle and high school students will go hybrid at the start of the second semester, January 19th. Early childhood and elementary students will remain in full time in person learning. Students who registered for virtual ed will continue with their current schedule. And the Raytown School District says next semester all students will return to virtual learning. The district had moved all grades to virtual this semester due to an increase in COVID-19 cases. Classes resume January 4th. All right, well, a second round of stimulus checks may soon hit Americans' bank accounts. The House has just passed a $900 billion economic relief package. It now heads to the Senate. The bill calls for Americans who make less than $75,000 a year to get $600 in stimulus money. Weekly unemployment benefits of $300 will also be available. There's also $280 billion for the Paycheck Protection Program, $82 billion for schools and colleges, and $25 billion to help families pay rent and avoid evictions. A vote can come at any moment tonight in the Senate. $15 billion of the new COVID relief bill in stimulus funding would be earmarked for entertainment venues, movie theaters, and even museums experiencing significant revenue loss. KNBC 9's Bianca Beltran shows us what this could mean for a local independent theater. What can I grab for you? At Screenland Armor, there are endless movie options. The independent theater in North Kansas City allows private parties to screen any movie they want. Do you need a straw with this or anything? So it's really been exciting to see families, you know, especially like families with little kids who normally wouldn't go to the movies, go be able to see these movies, you know, these larger than life experiences on the big screen. And they know it helps us out too. Anything else for you? Owner Adam Roberts says revenue has been below 50% since they reopened this summer. <laughs> Financial relief for struggling entertainment venues could be on the horizon in the next round of stimulus funding. We're lucky that we've been able to be open since June, but a lot of our markets, movie theaters and concerts are just not happening. Um, so for this to, to be something that's available for, for us, it really means entertainment's gonna be able to hopefully sustain into next year when things, fingers crossed, get back to normal. He says the movie industry was already evolving, but the pandemic has accelerated change, with production companies releasing movies online for viewers to stream at home. Whether it's a classic or a blockbuster, Adam says there's something special about going to the movies. The ups and downs of being in a movie theater are like anything else. You know, you laugh, you cry, you jump out of your seat together, and you can't replicate that. You got everything? Yeah. Sweet. In North Kansas City, Missouri, Bianca Beltran, no, KMBC 9 News. Now, if approved, this stimulus bill would create a grant program to help cover payroll, rent, utilities, and personal protective equipment. The bill would also extend the eviction moratorium until January 31st. Right now, it is set to expire at the end of this month. LICS uh, or LISC Greater Kansas City is part of the Regional COVID-19 Response and Recovery Fund. The executive director says thousands of people across the metro are struggling to make their rent payments. The rent is going to be due again January 1st. And for many folks, they don't have the resources available and you know the government has not uh, been as helpful as they could be. So the stimulus is certainly a first step. It uh, Maybe a little too too little too late at this point, though. Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas is asking judges in Jackson, Platte, Clay, and Cass counties to extend the eviction moratorium for at least the first six months of 2021. No decision uh, has been made on that request. All right, residents in long-term care facilities in both Kansas and Missouri will start receiving Pfizer's vaccine. Next week, CVS Health plans to start vaccinations in more than 600 long-term care facilities in Missouri and 360 facilities in Kansas starting next Monday. The company already has 500, uh, 450 vaccination clinics out of the CVS Health Kansas City office. So just because you don't have a CVS doesn't mean that we can't do your vaccinations. You know, we're able to, to travel the way the vaccine comes in the shippers. Uh, it's good for 30 days in the shippers that we're getting. Uh, so we do have the ability to go out and travel. Eventually, CVS Health plans to administer the vaccine to the general public at its pharmacy locations all across the country. A Kansas City man who took part in the Moderna vaccine trial says that he wants to know if he actually received the vaccine. Ben Snyder joined 30,000 people across the U.S. Half got the vaccine, the rest got the placebo. No one knows what they got. Snyder tells us that he wants to know to make sure he and his family are protected. I think with the timeline of this, it's not like normal vaccines where you can have someone live their life for 25 months and be able to check up on them. Snyder says that he hopes to learn whether he received the vaccine as soon as this week. 
The Johnson County Health Department received its first doses of the Moderna vaccine today. The health director and several nurses were the first to get the shot. 1,200 doses will vaccinate public health workers and EMS staff in the county. The Douglas County Health Department also received its shipment today. They are starting to vaccinate public health staff. They plan to vaccinate EMS first responders on Wednesday. Wyandotte County Health officials are preparing to receive doses of the Moderna vaccine sometime this week. The County Health Department expects 800 doses. Health officials say that the initial round of vaccines will go to frontline health care workers. Other health care workers who don't directly deal with COVID patients are also included in the first phase. The county has dedicated part of its coronavirus testing facility in KCK to vaccinations. Kansas City's VA Medical Center is getting ready for the Moderna vaccine. The VA will start vaccinating health care workers and high risk veterans. The VA says the vaccine won't be mandatory for employees, but it is highly encouraged. President elect Joe Biden is halfway to being vaccinated against COVID-19. He got his first dose of the Pfizer vaccine in Newark, Delaware today. Biden will have to receive a second dose in a few weeks. He told journalists and Americans that uh, this is just the beginning of efforts to end the pandemic. In the meantime, I know I don't want to sound like a sour note here, but uh, I hope people listen to all the experts and the Dr. Fauci's on talking about the need to wear masks during this Christmas and New Year's holidays, wear masks, socially distance and uh, and if you don't have to travel, don't travel, don't travel. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will get her first dose next week. Kansas lawmakers are also getting vaccinated. Kansas Senator Pat Roberts and Senator-elect Roger Marshall both got their first shot of the COVID-19 vaccine. They say that it is safe and effective. Right now, the office of the attending physician is distributing the vaccine to members of Congress, the Supreme Court, and the executive branch. More than 1,100 positive COVID cases reported today across the nine-county region. Hospitalizations are holding steady. The seven-day rolling average is at 158. Kansas City, Missouri saw 372 new cases over the weekend. No new deaths reported.